Colin Powell? Colin Powell didn't work for Barack Obama in 2009 when Barack Obama said, this is the way we are going to keep our government transparent. This is the way we're going to make sure that people can have access to the documents that we move around this administration when they, they search for them in Freedom of Information Acts. That's why they passed the regulation in 2009 that said if you work for an agency, all of your emails, not just the emails that you send to the agency, all of your emails have to be stored there. She did not do it. Everything she did was not permitted. Again, now, Mike, we've talked about this a good bit. Probably not a big deal with the American people. Right, well, that's right. Yeah. But don't do this Clinton esque explanation on okay. why is everybody picking on me on these? There was nothing in the Rose Law Firm records. When you take the Rose Law Firm records for three years and hide them in your, your White House, sift through them, and then decide what you're going to give investigators. You just can't have it well, both I, ways. I, listen, I, I, there's no questioning the accuracy of everything we've been saying about the emails. I, I think maybe one in 50 million people out there care about the emails. <laughs> right. They don't care about the emails, which leads to to the, to the question, why is it that she didn't get on TV and say basically to the interviewer or to questions about these, hey, you got to get over this. Right. Right. Nobody can just, just get over well, it. Because, all, but, all because the to... problem, Caddy, is those trust numbers haven't collapsed because right. her favorite baseball team is having a bad year this year. I mean, they, they have collapsed because Americans. I think, I mean, in part they've collapsed not because people know the details, as you suggest, of the emails, because it's very complicated and most people haven't followed that. I think they've collapsed in partly because of what we saw yesterday, which is a performance issue, which is a style issue, yeah. which is a mannerism that she has of looking and sounding evasive. Maybe even were she totally accurate that other people have done the same thing, which they couldn't have done because they didn't have servers back in those times. It, it, there's something about the way when she is asked a question, she visibly doesn't like being pushed or pushed for transparency and I think I thought that was the weakest part of the interview last night was the manner in which she answered those I think questions. the responsibility for the media is to go through what she said in that interview and pick apart all the things she said that just are not accurate I counted about five or six things that were just completely inaccurate, including a simple thing like saying American people trust me and there's nothing wrong with my trust numbers. That's inaccurate as well. But if, if Mika were here, that's what she would be saying. What I say is, Mike, along your line, she needs to say, listen, I screwed up. I should have followed the, the, the Obama administration. I messed up. My husband, President of the United States, had a server at our house. I thought it would be more convenient, and that's why I did it. I really messed up, and I'm really sorry. But don't you feel like she feels this strategy can work for her? She can say Benghazi, the emails, There's the Clinton else. Foundation. She say these are cooked up by the right. These are cooked up by Republicans but it in the House of Representatives. Support for her and that because just, she's under attack. Right on her side. That. The, the, the problem is that it's the New York Times and the Washington Post driving it. It's not Drudge and Breitbart and IJ Review and Daily Caller and, and conservative websites driving this. So uh, uh, let's get to the bottom line here. Let me pose a question to the table, including Jonathan Capehart in Washington, D.C. Do you think it's possible for her to be elected to the presidency basically by saying, look, and I know some of you don't trust me, some of you have never trusted me, but I can do this job. I am competent. I can do this job. Can she win that way? Absolutely, and she will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you Absolutely. think, Jonathan? No, I I agree because you know that would be honest, and if anything, people <laughs> want a politician who is honest with them. And you know you can't deny that her her trustworthy numbers are upside down. Um, people right now don't trust her, and I agree with Caddy. They were bound to come down anyway because people love you before you say you're running for president, and then you say you're running for president, and then suddenly they don't love you anymore. Um, but 